Andrew Gilman joins us now on the Little Caesars Hot and Ready Hotline. It has been a minute. Can you hear me okay, Zach? Uh, yeah, I sure can. Do I sound, do I sound muffled? Uh, n- not yet. Not yet? You're expecting me to? Well, you asked. I, why, why, I mean, I'm excited. I would say more muzzled than muffled. Well, I mean, a uh, couple things. Well, I, I generally get about one to two um, um, conversations on Twitter when I'm done that says my phone's terrible. So I just oh, want to make sure for okay. your listeners that I sound as good as I could possibly sound. Yeah, so far so good. However, I okay. do think you're speaking in a tone that makes me think you are inside a library at the moment. I'm not in a library. I'm in a hotel. Where are you? That's very personal. <laughs> okay. What's her name? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was good, funny. Todd. That was very good. Funny. That was funny. Uh, I, we have uh, dropped off my son at summer camp here in Colorado, and we're just sort of touring through Colorado, taking a couple days. You did not have to come on today. No, I wanted to. That's oh, okay. The See? All right. See, I wanted to. Okay. Well, I appreciate because that. you know that I know that you want me on the show. Um, so when you hear Kyle Singler, five million a year over five years, you think what? I think congratulations, Kyle Singler. I think you should be dropping your kid off at basketball camp. No kidding. <laughs> That's what I think. Um, come on, guys. I mean, really, what are what, what's the problem? What's the problem? I, I, I don't. I don't think. The, I don't think there's much of one, really. I, I mean. You know, this is the way it's going to be, and I think if you do the yeah. math, you're, you're uh, if you do the math comparatively speaking to years past, it would be he would be making under four uh, right. in other years, which probably which probably makes sense. Um, now, I will say this, and correct me if I'm wrong here. Singler got plenty more la- uh, plenty more play last season than he will this season. I think we're all in agreement there, assuming that the in, health is better. In it. In a perfect world, you don't want Kyle Singler playing as many minutes last year or starting. Actually, just starting. Let's just say that. So the uh, mo- the money yes. per year, the money per year is not uh, is not anything that I have any qualms with. The amount of okay. years. Yeah, that's I, a good point. That's that to me is like, wait a minute. I mean, you we're, you're locked in on a guy who who uh, had as much playing time as he'll ever get in a Thunder uniform this past year, and he well, he was getting well, six points a game. Way. Let's say in three years, let's say Kyle Singler is going into his fourth year of his five-year deal, right? At that point, he's making still five million a year, right? Mm-hmm. There's not Pocket necessarily change. going to be a whole a whole lot of guys in the league making less than that, are there? And shooters probably age not. pretty well too. Okay, probably not. Last year, Sebastian Telfair made like one point one for the Thunder. I'm not really into comparing salaries, but. I don't know that he was worth that, was he? Uh, no, I mean, I guess okay. not. No. I mean, no. so this is sort of a weird rabbit hole to be going down because are, 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 are any of these guys worth what they're paid? Is Kevin Durant, what's he getting per year? What's Kevin Durant making per year? Look, after Kendrick Perkins, everything oh, sounds fair to me. Okay, LeBron's going to get 20 plus million a year, right? Mm-hmm. He should get 100 million a year. He's worth a hundred million. Well, we were just talking. Ty and I were just talking about that before we got you on the phone. Um, would you be more? Uh, would you be more uh, acceptable of an NBA world we lived in, in which there was no player max? There was still a salary cap, but there yeah, was well, no I player max. Talking about this, you know, like I mean, the Premier uh, oh, did League. You ta- did you talk about this with us? I'm sorry. You. This is one of your go-to arguments. This is like Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame or out. Go. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I guess it's kind of is, yeah, yeah. I'm a free it's, market guy, man. I love the free well, market. It's great. Okay, well that's super. Um, so the you want the NFL, you want everything to be like Major League Baseball and European soccer. I don't mind the salary cap, uh, but the, but a, but a player, a, a ceiling on what a player can make. Yeah, it's a little bit unfair, I guess would be the term, because there's certainly no cap on what you make, right? Absolutely not. Right, so get better if you want more money. Yeah, Zach, that's right. get better. Yeah, that's right. Or there go is. back north. So, so hey, they wrong. had to. They had to up their cap here at the at Tyler Media to get me on board. I can tell you that. So LeBron is definitely worth more than whatever anyone wants to pay him. 
or Can Pam. Can Pam. Andrew Gilman with us here on 1077 The Franchise. Andrew, what do you do with this tweet that comes in from Sean? <laughs> Andrew in Colorado sounds, I'll do the bunny ear quotes, subdued for a whole other <laughs> reason besides his phone. I w- Hashtag I will, doobie snacks. I will comment on that. Uh, we checked into our hotel uh, last night, last, yesterday afternoon, and we dropped our bags off. And there did seem to be a, an odd uh, but not unpleasant odor coming from the vents and... Apparently, well, about an hour later, the vending machine Doritos looked delicious. That's all I was going to say. Jeez, where are we? Where are we? I'm so I'm so glad we got you on. Um, <laughs> what do you? Uh, let me let me switch. Or, 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 anything else on NBA free agency that really um, makes you, you? You you seem to me to be like, hey, look, it's a lot of players getting money. What what much to do about nothing? Move on mostly I do feel that way. There were some people in our general network that were upset that say Anthony Morrow's not making as much as Kyle Singler. But when these guys come up for renewal again, in, in Anthony Morrow's case, he's going to be making a lot more than Kyle Singler. So I would not worry about that at this point. If you're making that, that'd be my last point on that. Uh, let me move over to the Big 12. David Bourne mo- opened his mouth again since the last time we've had you on as it pertains to mm-hmm. Big 12 mm-hmm. expansion. What, Todd? What are you laughing at? My uh, my uh, my use of my use of the verbs there. Um, anyway, he spoke. How about that? He spoke. Yeah. Yes. Um, about Big 12 expansion. Is there a method to his public madness over this? Good question. I would say that if this conversation or if he had said what he did and, uh, and of course, the ensuing fine bomb tweet uh, that I'm sure you guys have gone over as well, if that had happened in, I don't know, pick any other month besides July and June or June, we wouldn't be really discussing it because there'd be more topical news. And because it's July, I think people are sort of worked up about it because why not? I wouldn't get that. I would not get that excited. I threw out a theory. And are you just dismissing mine? Are you dismissing no, it? But what, no, but Are I'm we not. talking about you now? Okay. Uh, I'm not. It sounded awful dismissive to me, Andrew. It, it sounded like let's, you, I wasn't listening to you, but I'm going to go ahead and get my point in order so I can start getting ready first to talk off, what it sounded like. First off, Todd is totally trying to push buttons today. Totally trying to push buttons. And not well, just the ones he pushes on that board. Um, that seems between you guys. But anyway, uh, no, mm-hmm. I wanted to – I would just – if I would, if I could piggyback off that. Yes, please do. Does that sound better? Um, I had – my theory was, and, t- and I would like you to shoot it down if inaccurate to you, is that, uh, yes, um, while it may be the summer months, uh, perhaps it was one last chance to plant a seed uh, that, uh, that obviously is not going to be planted anytime soon as it pertains to Big 12 expansion. Uh, as one last seed out there on his own, hey, I want more teams. That way here in a couple of years when nothing happens, he can say, hey, I told you I, I wanted more best, team, yeah. teams. I tried yep. my best. I'm leaving the Big 12. Possible. Possible. I think that there's also the common – sort of a piece of information, knowledge that David Bourne would like to align Oklahoma with academic institutions such as, say, Stanford, Cal, Washington, um, what other other ones are out there, UCLA in the, in the Pac-12, while a lot of folks here would think that it's great to play in the SEC, and it would be. It certainly would be from a sports point of view, but I don't think that David Bourne thinks that Oklahoma has – a lot in common with the academic interests of the schools of the Southeast. I think he would rather be with the schools of the Pac-12. What about Big Ten? Well, yes. Now, now that's another one because, as you know, Zach, Missouri for years wanted to be in the Big Ten. Mm -hmm. They fancied themselves as a higher-level academic institution, and whether they are or not, I don't know. But they tried for years to be in the Big Ten. I don't know that OU has really made that sort of – um, that sort of push, whereas in the past we have seen them show interest in the Pac-12. Go ahead, Todd. What's her name, Andrew? <laughs> Say it. Don't do that. Say Don't do that. It. That's Say not. It. 
That's not good radio. That's not good radio. You're better than that. And you knew what's going on. Say it. Todd and Andrew is an international superstar. He's well versed in Italian cuisine, Asian made vehicles, and European soccer. <laughs> Excuse me, football. But management frowns upon Todd and Andrew. Soccer talk. Ah, screw it. Let's sneak in some real quick. Ah! Here's 10 seconds of soccer with Todd Lizenby and Andrew starting now. 36 days, 21 hours, 24 minutes until the Premier League starts. But who's counting, Andrew? I'm counting, Todd, and I'm also counting down to the end of July when Tottenham takes on the MLS All-Stars. And that was 10 seconds of soccer. All right, enjoy Colorado. Uh, Zach, I will do my best. Thank you for having me on, and I can't wait to talk again soon. Her name was Mary Jane!